Well, now the cat's kind of out of the bag. Been working on this project for a while with uh, Naturia. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't really keep it a secret to do the big reveal that we wanted to eventually. Um, so I thought to start this video, I'll uh, start off showing you around. So um, this is Nexus City, or this is the beginning of it. Uh, it still needs a lot of expansion, obviously. So we can start over here with this building. This is a bamboo farm. It's not very polished on the inside, but that's fine. Uh, it's only meant to look pretty from the outside and uh, be functional from the inside. So to turn it on, just have to flick that lever. And at the bottom here, we've got an automatic flying machine. If we just trigger it manually, that goes ahead and it harvests the bamboo. All of this bamboo is then oh yeah, uh, is then sent over here inside the ark. Still need to make this look solid, and it goes into this little. Oh, it's not little, but it's it's not. I mean, it's not huge uh, storage area. So we have. Oh, what's that? Probably pick that out. So you can see it shooting up over there. And in here we have a lot of bamboo uh, stored up because we use it to smelt and uh, we use it in its raw form. We don't craft scaffolding or anything. So you can flick the lever and then you'll hear the droppers go off. And that shoots all of the bamboo over here to this feed tape smelter. And you'll see it pop up in a moment there. And then every uh, all the all of the excess bamboo just comes straight to the edge and falls down there. You'll see that in a second, and then that circles back to the storage, which means you can keep that on to keep the the smelter field while it's going, and that's not going to waste any fuel. Nothing's going to despawn because it passes through hoppers soon enough, uh, so that it you know resets that five minute counter before items despawn. For the most part, we obviously keep that off. And then all of these smelted items come over here. So, I mean, this is a, a ridiculously good smelter. It's my own design, so I am a bit biased and everything. Uh, but it just, it works really well. And free fuel. Don't have to go mine coal anymore. Uh, which is which is great. Because we needed to smelt a boatload of copper. Because we plan on building something pretty cool with that. Uh, this is going to be the main building. It's... It's pretty cool. It's a huge circle uh, that Forrest and I worked on. Look at that. That's nice. Um, looks better in ray tracing, but, but anyway. Huge circle and then a huge building coming on top of it. This is all quartz. Um, sorry, sorry, Django and Atlas for buying that from you. Uh, I think... You know, they made a good deal of diamonds, but uh, I think the toll it took on their mental health it was priceless because it really took its toll. Uh, anyway, I think I think Atlas is on a watch list now for the and the like for the sole reason of having to trade all of these quartz with Django. But Django has an inhumanely high tolerance for just grinding, so. Uh, yeah, I think Atlas is the one that suffered the brunt of this, honestly. Uh, here, I am busy building a little turtle sanctuary, experimenting with some dirt patches, but that looks really unnatural because it's just this weird, weird patch. Uh, experimenting with some palm trees as well. It looks very barren at the moment, but I have, I think, seven turtle eggs that I'm going to go get in a moment from my base. And then I'm going to start getting the turtles here because I really want scutes, and it's going to look pretty cool. Um... Undecided what's going to go in this particular one, but the plan eventually is to have in these like gaps that we've mined out uh, enclosures and like uh, Habitats a friend of mine said this is kind of gives Jurassic Park vibes uh, But basically we're going to have one of these quadrants an arctic zone where it's going to be like snow and igloos and polar bears and stuff um, We want like forests and stuff so we have parrots and pandas and all that and I'm just busy building the turtle area. Uh, obviously, these are all grouped together, but from this circle, we want to expand the road outwards, and hopefully other people can come and build their headquarters here. 
and then on this island we're gonna build something pretty cool and then Garth and Fromy have made a nice little spider farm in here but obviously um, when players like put in the work to make something cool in Minecraft the Mojang developers put in work to undo all of that work so uh, with the spawners breaking so frequently it works now I just heard a spider but with the spawners breaking so frequently uh, it's hard to get a reliable source of XP from something like that we can actually use this portal I'll never forgive Mojang for making the nether squishy this just sounds stupid little moment of appreciation for RC and I think fireman I know they're both in that direction, but just appreciation for this tunnel. Looks seriously cool. Already getting an FPS drop in the shopping district, uh, but it's kind of stupid because, look, glancing over at my stats, this is using 30% of my CPU and my GPU. So I don't know why my hardware that I paid good money for won't max itself out to give me thousands of frames. I, I mean, I don't get what I paid for now. And also, the tree under construction. I think it needs some work with the roots here. I'll probably probably ask someone if I can do anything for that. Uh, thought we might check the wood shop while we're here. Uh, no one bought more hearts of the sea. So it's more than just the wood shop. Still need to get something to do with that. No birch. Vacation oak. Uh, um, I think I think Naturia came and like took the profits. Oh yeah, see, I've got nineteen diamonds there. Let me, let me actually take that. Oop. Put that in my wallet later. I'm not sure whether I've actually showed this, like my little portal room. Uh, I've been told this kind of looks like a loaf of bread, and um, now I may need to burn it down. So, I mean, there's that. Always something to complain about. What? It won't regen. It it says generating world, but it's not. It's not doing anything. Gonna have to, gonna have to Alt F four this thing. Try again, I guess. My spawn was all the way back at Nexus City, so now I have to run this whole freaking marathon again. It's 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 such a chore to just travel between two places, and at the moment I'm doing it simply out of convenience. Even though I made a pledge not to do this this season, so maybe. I should just boycott the nether, like I said I would. Um, yeah. I'm not about to make a liar out of myself, even though I already have, but uh, it is what it is. I have died so many times on this. Look, I mean, look at that. Ooh, I didn't even, like, set my spawn back here. So I am living on the edge. Let's see, there's my shield, sword, I got my pickaxe, spoon, da da da. I am still short a couple of things. My inventory was basically full. Some more stuff down here. Ah, oh, there's my food. Some wood. See. Oh yeah, wait, never mind. Oh, wow. My health is really low. Hoping that slime loses sight of me and then decides to... Why is he not... He's... Goodness. Aha! It's a different slime. But it'll do. This will quench my thirst for blood. Or... Oh. 
Oh, I don't know. Slime. Blood. Mm. Back to the original point. Um, I'm here to get some turtle eggs. So that we can start breeding them. And then... There's an undecided step in between. And then the results will be getting rich. I'm not sure how those things are connected yet, but I'll figure it out. Also, when did they change the the turtles, like the block skin thing? It must have been a while, because uh, I think I think it was a parody change, because this is what Java's eggs looked like from the start, and then they decided to change ours to it. And I like it. The old one's kind of ugly. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I need to be better. I am going to... No, you know what? I don't have enough rockets for that on me. Also don't have an ender chest. Scratch that. I am a liar. I've never told the truth. I'm not boycotting the nether today. I'll do that tomorrow. Pro probably not, but... I mean... Hmm. And this is what the whole area uh, looks like on a map so far. The way that the... I don't know what to call those, but the way that those look, uh, depending on the direction of the map, really annoys me because those are built the exact same. This one is built out a little further though, so it is going uh, a bit more to the middle. But like the, you know, yeah, I, I think you can see the difference, and they're built the exact same way. Why, Mojang? Why must you insist on ruining a good thing? Anyway, um, now that my little emotional outburst is done, I basically, from my understanding, and I refuse to check the wiki before I do this, trial and error all the way for me, um, I just need to plop these, oh, just need to plop them down, um, not walk on them, so can't little, like crouch on them to keep them warm, uh, but I do need to defend them against zombies. In a different life, a smarter version of me would have probably secured this area, maybe maybe even lit it up, actually, now that I say that, um, and made it zombie-proof. But like I said, that's a different version of me. It's not this version. So I'm not going to zombie-proof this place. I will deal with the consequences of my horrible decision-making. Um, these torches are basically everything. I am going to stick around here and make sure that uh, zombies don't trample on these, because for whatever reason they like to do that. I can't imagine thinking that that's worth my time, just finding turtle eggs and trampling them, but they seem to think it's worth theirs, so now i got to stay here and defend them. This is worse than watching paint dry. Watching eggs hatch. Well, not hatch. Watching them sit and collect dust. Man, what am I doing? I think I'm just gonna... Just like try and pretty up the place while I wait. And now my leaves are done, and I can't leave, because if I do, these little dudes are getting slaughtered. Ah! Thank you, Stesco! Thank you! Love to see it. So, according to MinecraftFandom.com, it takes four to five nights, Minecraft nights, for turtle eggs to hatch. What is this? Wh whose idea was this? Can't I just bone meal the stuff? Come on. Finally! We're gonna call this one Justin. Because he's cracked. I'll see myself out. If you understood that reference, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry I had to make that joke. Someone had to. So, still waiting. And I decided to order some pizza, so I'm stalking the Uber Eats driver. 
uh, this is starting to take its toll. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. The eggs still haven't hatched, but I'll show you in the next episode uh, what they do end up looking like when they do hatch, and I think they will eventually.